How to convert coloured images to line art for colouring books. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP low content books and Etsy printables with new training each week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. Today I'm going to show you how to convert a coloured image to line art using PowerPoint. But I'm going to show you how to improve the images that end up having lots of layers that makes it look like blobs and some people have said pixelated but it's not pixelated it's just got loads of layers on top of each other but I'll show you but before that let's just dig in here we are at um, coloring books for kids yes the competition is huge but you can niche it down and cross niche it put it into activity books you can do all sorts of different things never be afraid to enter competition especially if you know what you're doing and you can promote either paid ads or doing it by promoting on free platforms like Pinterest and places like that. And this is a new tool that I will be doing a video about later on showing you how that tool actually works. So as we can see, all with um, colouring in books, the line art is very simple. There's not a lot of detail there in these line arts. They're very easy because it's aimed at children, obviously. If you're doing it for adults, it needs to be a bit more detailed. Unless you're doing large print, then it needs to be as clear as these, but not as childish. So you need to do like a mix. So we're going to go back to Vecteezy because you can use their free images as long as you put attribution in your book that you're using Vecteezy and um, follow what they say because when you download from them they actually give you the files to tell you what you can and can't do so i'm going to do parrot again because parrots actually have quite a lot of color in them so i'm only going to look for the free licenses as well so as you can see there's lots of parrots and i'm going to actually use this one i'm going to explain why i'm using that one but when you are looking for line art, maybe look for one that's already done for you or look for one that has not got a lot of shadows and has not got a lot of shading. And that way it ends up being a cleaner image and you can start using straight away. So like here, that's already done for you as well. So that is what you're looking for. Now I've already downloaded that file. Now the problem is when you are using Vecteezy, the files come as EPSs or JPEGs. So you need to convert them. Now what I found is that I actually now convert both of them if the image is too detailed. So if we have a look at this PowerPoint here, I've actually started doing different things, but I'll recreate it. The reason why this one ends up being blocky like this or loads of layers is because there's lots of shading and there's lots of little details and there's um, shadows as well. So shading and shadows, which makes it look more three dimensional. But that is not what we are going for because we are going for a coloring book now if this was a storybook that you were aiming at children this would be a beautiful image for doing that so to get it to be not an S a EPS file or a JPEG file you use this free program Convertio and you click choose your file and then you so I'll just show you so choose that file and then convert it here by clicking the drop down and choose vector and then SVG seems to give you a better result. I don't know why, I ju just felt it to me. You can try either way and then download it. So I've downloaded it and what I did is I did both. I converted both the EPS and the JPEG to vector. So let's go back to PowerPoint and I'm actually going to start a new slide so that you can actually see what I'm doing from the word go. So I'll just bring that down and I'm just gonna get rid of that one so it's not in our way. So here we are, all I need to do is change the size and if you go to Amazon and you have a look at the size of all these books, eight and a half by 11, eight and a half by 11, eight and a half by eight and a half. So you could do an eight and a half and that one's eight by eight, but it seems to be eight and a half, Eight and a half, eight and a half, eight and a half. So we'll stick with the most popular size. So let's just get rid of those. 
and then design, slice size, page setup, and then I'm changing it to eight and a half by 11. And I'm clicking OK. And because it's empty, I'm using scale up. Now, if it had stuff on it, I would actually scale down because everything sort of moves out of the, the slide. It depends, you know, test both, see what works for you. So I'm going to insert the first SVG, which is actually the um, EPS file. And it's that one there. So I'm going to insert that. And because it's an SVG file, I can resize it without worrying about it pixelating. And I'm actually going to do two. So I'm going to keep the original that I can, and I'm going to work from another one. And then I'm going to put a text here so I actually know which one I'm working on. So insert text. And I'm just going to put EPS SVG. So I know which one's which. And then I'm going to do another blank slide and I'm going to insert the SVG that I converted from the JPEG. And you'll see the difference. Now, this has lost all its color already. So we, we already know that that's a slightly different one. So again, I'm going to copy that and I'll just take that text as well. Copy. And put this here and just change EPS to JP. And then I know which one I'm doing. So what we can do is I'm going to change this one first and see if we can use this one. And I'm looking for the most simplest design to start with. So I'm going to go to graphic format and I'm converting it to shape. So I'm going to go convert to shape. So this has now converted to shape. And I'm going to click Shape Format, and I'm going to do, um, I can do No Fill or I can do White. I might do No Fill, and then I'm going to do a black line up. So we've got the basis of an image, but we're missing quite a lot. We're missing stuff from that top beat, and we're missing a bottom beat and some lines there that we might be able to draw back in. So we've got the basis. Now here on this one, my advice to you, if you've got it, the EPS and you've got all these layers here, my advice is to, would actually be to start moving them before you change color. So what you can do is again, go graphic format, convert to shape, and then I'm actually going to undo. So I'm going to ungroup this and you'll see the amount of layers that when it happens when I ungroup. So there's different things like this here, you can actually see there's a block here. So that we could easily just get rid of. So I've got rid of something else there. Zooming in. So I'm gonna get rid of those two and I just simply delete. Now there's lots here. So which part here is actually the leg? So that's the leg in the background. So I could delete or you could union them. So if I go here, shape format, and I go to merge shapes, I can actually union those. And now it is one leg without deleting. And I can do the exact same for that one there. And again, merge shape and union. So there's lots I can be doing. So I can actually, because here's the head, so if I wanted, I could just union those as well, or I could just simply take it away and delete. And same with this, take away and delete. So we've got a lot on here, this beak. If you look here, that's the original beak. And we've got loads of stuff here. So I could just take them away and delete. So this is how you actually start tidying up your image so that Take that one away. Take that away as well. Take that away. 
Now you can see I got rid of the big head. I didn't want that, but I wanted that one gone. So, now there's lots of circles here for the eye. We might put them back later on. I might take that. I think everything should be a lot easier. So I'm going to select that again. So I'm going to recall that so I make sure I've got everything that I want. And then I am going to go to shape format, shape fill, and I'll do white, and then align out. So as you can see, that is a lot better than the previous one that we had. So if I just open up the recent one and put it side by side. So let me just do that. And you can actually see the huge difference by actually going and deleting those different ones. Now, what you could have done is just simply, I'm going to do this because this is already graphics for my convert shape, and then we'll see the difference. Shape fill on white. So if I wanted to do it with the JPEG one, all I needed to do was go back to this one. I could ungroup it again. Copy the top beat. Click that there. And just put it, place it on top of that one. Go back and copy the bottom beat. And place it underneath here. I just need to make sure I've got them where I want. I can make them slightly bigger so they're covering the other beat. Yeah. And then I could change the order, arrange and center back. So that is how you could easily simplify. Now, if we go back to this one, we can see that the leg, the claws need improving and maybe, maybe the eye, maybe not. I think that's fine. And there's some little wings here. Put them back because it keeps the line. I might union those two. Keep similar shape. Union that. So sometimes some things work and some things don't. It is all about playing around. So here we've got like an extra top claw. So I can just move things about. So. I might get rid of everything else. I'll just leave that there. And then again, just move the main part. And that is my improved image from the previous one. And that's what you got to do. So I suggest you start removing it with colors first. 
and don't do that first if you can see that it's got a lot of shading or if you want really simplified convert the JPEG to an SVG and then make sure you com you convert both EPS and the JPEG and then take bits and pieces from each one so that you can make it as simplified as you want and as you can see that one's seen through there so all I need to do is click on there and go back to shape format and actually fill it with white and then that way you won't actually see it but yeah I'll do so it's this one I need to fill with white group and group name image that's not That's it. That looks a lot better. So you have to mess around and get orders right until you are happy with everything that you've got there. So I hope that this has helped you actually clean up your images. It is a lot of work, but they would look the exact same if you use Gravit or Illustrator or Affinity to actually do these. You'd still have to do all of that work. So the suggestion is if you see an image like this that's got a lot of shadows and a lot of shapes, if you, it's best not to use it, but if you really do, Convert both, see which one works best for you, whether it's the JPEG or whether it's the EPS, and then delete round it or add to it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the like button. Also, don't forget to hit the B to subscribe to the channel and to be notified about any other videos I make. Also check out the hot niches for uh, KDP for 2021, and also check out the video about removing color from JPEGs and PNG in PowerPoint as well.